Honestly, like, is that is that your signature look? Because I feel like you have a natural look that's probably very, you know, that's very unique. And I would like to see more of your natural look. Like when you wake up out of bed, I'm pretty sure you do. I just would rather see that side of you because that's kind of like what I lean towards. It's just the natural, you know, your real hair and stuff, which I'm sure you do. But I want to see more of that. But if you if you got that, then we good. But other than that, though. Uh, Baby. Uh, they said come dress to impress. They said come to look good. You know what I'm saying? I hear you. So, I hear you. if you don't like me as a woman, like dressing myself up, if you don't appreciate me trying to come out and dress up for you, then yeah, I'm not the one for you. So, I, I ain't got to answer none of your other questions. Okay. I, I, Honestly. I understand. I understand. I well, didn't say you wasn't attracted. I'm just saying, like, I'm pretty sure you have another side of you that I would like to see more of the natural side. I mean, I've seen this side of you, but I want to see the natural side. Well, honestly. I mean, if I'm going out on a date, if I'm going to go step out, if they ask me to dress to impress, then what I'm going to do is do that. So my question is, if I'm expressing, like, if we was in a relationship and I'm expressing you how I feel, mm -hmm. I feel like you coming in my neck right now. Which, you know, I got tough skin, it's cool. It ain't even nothing to discuss, big dog, because... <laughs> First of all, I don't think that women are as used to actually people telling them the truth. We live in a social media era where um, women are used to being fed lies. I just think that, actually, I don't even think it. I know it. I've seen it. I've lived it. I'm a part of this social media culture, so I know exactly what happens uh, and where women look for their validation. And even when you guys sent me this video to react to, um, all of the comments actually help support her narrative where even it was guys like it's too early my boy what you mean it's too early it's too early for you to tell her what expectations are one of the benefits one of the only benefits of a lot of these balloon pop shows in addition to the entertainment aspect of it one of the benefits is that we actually get to see people in real time tell people what they really think about them even if they being influenced by other people that's around them so that we can actually use this as an example as to how people interact in real life and in what a lot of these social media interactions ultimately turn into. And so I'm not really understanding why it would be too early. And then I, of course, I look in the comments and I see people say, well, you know, it's because he must be gay or he like, so you telling me, let's put this in perspective. You telling me that a guy that tells you that they don't want somebody that is pretending to be somebody else. And a lot of y'all women, to be honest with y'all, and look, 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 you beautiful the way you are. It's not even about enhancing or being bead and all of that stuff. It's really about, if we want you as a woman, so let's just throw this whole gay narrative out the way. Let's just dispel this right now. If we want you as a woman, right? Why would we want you dressing in drag? Because we all just people. Everybody is unique and God made unique. And, and it doesn't mean that you can't give effort. That's what guys want. Guys want effort. You know, lip gloss, Vaseline on the lips. Even if you wear a little bit of makeup, that's cool. But they don't want you looking like a drag queen. And so he wasn't even on no insulting stuff, which is odd for these type of shows. Because I'm used to people being absolutely disrespectful and insulting and going back and forth and trying to go viral. He was gently saying what he probably was being asked as far as what his feedback was on her. And he didn't say that she wasn't attractive to him. He just said, listen, I think that this is more to it. I think he did it perfectly. He said, I think it's more to you. And instead of her looking at it as a compliment, like, oh, yeah, you know what? I want to have a deeper conversation about this because it, it's not like she had to acknowledge what he was saying right then and there, but she hit him with the baby. And for me, that immediately is a red flag because that tells me that you're more interested in what the narrative is and what people are saying. And you think that being dressed to impress has something to do with the fact that, you know, your neck probably don't match your face as far as the, the skin tone or something like that. Which, again, I don't know. You know what I'm saying? But all I know is that he wasn't being disrespectful. It's amazing how people took that as disrespect. And the first thing that women said inside of the comments is, A, either he's, he's gay B, why don't black men like black women? No, black men don't like black women that ultimately dress like black men. 
or black men don't like like black women at borderline drag or when you start to remove all of the eyelashes and stuff like that like guys like women that smell good that put effort into themselves that whose lips is not ashy you know what i'm saying and elbows is not tucked in and all of that it has any it has nothing to do with the fact that you know you feel like dressing and impress is really just being something completely different I see videos a lot of time of women that, and they say this is, you know, who they're going to be at their wedding or they the maid of honor or the best woman or whatever you call that. And they are two totally different people. I seen one black chick um, wind up looking Asian. She looked, she was a whole nother color and she was Asian at the end of the video. And I'm like, man, what kind of sorcery is this? And again, I don't think it's anything wrong with enhancement, slight enhancements or you know if you put a little red on your lips and you know what i'm saying all of that but i'm telling you bro it's gotten out of control and you give people an inch and they're gonna take a mile the same people are the same people same way that people are in relationships is the same way what they are in everything else they go overboard with everything you know what i'm saying and it, it becomes something that's not even conducive for the environment or you know because eventually people won't have to see who you really are i'm guessing People going to have to see who you really are in real life. So why wouldn't you want to lead with that? Why are you leading with the fake stuff? I even tell guys a lot of times like, man, you know, if you are in a high power position or you make a lot of money or you do this or you do that. Why would you tell somebody that downplay your position? You know, you always under promise over deliver. That's my sentiment for life. Under promise over deliver. That way people feel like they got more than they value that they got for their money, whether it's the business that you have, whether it's the restaurant that you own, whether it's the, you know, whether you're delivering on who you are as a person and a relationship and all of that under promise over deliver. How you start off is how you got to maintain. So you got to have something to grow into. And when people lead with their best foot forward or they lead with something other than who they truly are and they not really that, but then eventually you're going to discover who it is in the first place. That's a form of catfishing to me. And so he, it was nothing that he said that was disrespectful. And I think that he actually blunted um, what her response was probably going to be because she did calm down a little bit. And somebody actually was in a comment saying that I think that they wound up choosing each other or something like that. But the minute that you lead with, with realness as far as standing in your masculinity, I'm not saying be offensive, but standing in your masculinity and, and, and having a real conversation instead of trying to please everybody and be a people pleaser so that people that actually don't even rock with you is still not gonna rock with you anyway but you think that they are just because you being a yes man people can tell a yes man and i think that they will respect you more even if they dis even if you disagree now, i do think that it's a way to say everything and i think that he actually captured the moment perfectly perfectly and it's one of the rare moments on these shows where i actually agree with but i also believe that there's a portion of us or there's a, a way you can say anything to anybody and you still need to stand on your masculinity regardless of what, are, what it is that everybody else is around you saying but that's just my personal opinion i'm curious as to what you guys think make sure you tap into the patreon link is in the description also on top of that um leave a comment leave a comment i'm looking for i like reading y'all comments on these videos leave a comment and we'll discuss it on that front also i love you i appreciate you i'm gonna holler at you guys later peace